everybody! It's your dad's favorite podcast! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. fuck, dude. I just threw him across the goddamn... Okay, he's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody! Oh, fuck! My camera! How's it going, everybody? <laughs> it's Dylan, and you know what time it is. It's Friday at 5, and that means your dad's favorite podcast. My name's Dylan. Uh, to my, I guess my left over here, the man, the myth, the legend, Gabriel. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video, if you have, or this, this uh, Spotify. I feel like it's worth mentioning that we should get it out there. On Spotify... This is a video podcast, so you can you can look at the video and you can click off the video. And I, you can you can watch it, you can listen to it. Either way, it's fine. I don't, I don't know. I like video podcasts; they're pretty cool on Spotify. This is a video podcast on Spotify. This is also a video podcast on YouTube. It's not a video podcast on Instagram, but you should follow our Instagram anyway. And you should both, follow all three both of, of the Instagrams. All three. That's right. This is this There's is important. There's more Instagrams to follow, but we're gonna start off with the three. Well, this is <laughs> this is important. Please follow at your dad's fave pod on Instagram because we would like to get to a point where we can grow that enough to where we can use that for our questions and not have to use our personal ones. Even though, if you want to follow our personal ones, it's at BCB Gabriel at Dylan Hoyos. You can follow them. You can follow your dad's fave pod on Instagram. And much to my chagrin, I have finally caved. We have a fucking TikTok. No! TikTok. What the hell? I can't believe we just stooped that low. We're supposed to be your dad's favorite podcast, not your millennials' favorite podcast. Uh, not your favorite. This is supposed to be your favorite podcast. Yeah. It's supposed to be your fucking dad's. Fuck you. I mean, I love you guys, but this is meant for your dad. This is this meant is for your dad. <laughs> Our relationship with our audience, we need to establish as love-hate. It's like uh, it's what chaos We all love about. you guys, but if you're not... Pushing this to, to towards your father figures, uh, no, shit, even no, if they shit. are a she, yeah, her, shit. whoever is the father figure, whoever has the testes in the family, um, they deserve to watch this podcast. This is meant for them. Yeah. Um, but if you want to watch but, uh, it, you still can, but also fuck you. That this is that's just part of it. That's just part yeah. of it for you now. Sorry, so, guys. Um, yeah, unlucky. So this week we have we had uh, we had another question. Do you want to tell them the question? This was your idea. Yeah. So every single episode we have a question that we like to ask on our Instagrams. This is also going to go on the K's Co. Starting soon. We're also going to post it on the K's Co. Oh, not K's Co. That's my as another Instagram. Don't, <laughs> don't follow that yet. Don't follow what? that yet. Um, what the fuck is that on the K's Co.? <laughs> I don't know. Um, On the YDFP uh instagram it's also probably gonna i want to try to put it on tiktok as well um but mm, that's an idea we'll get there when we get there but for now it's gonna be on mine gabriel's and um we'll put uh, it on the, we'll the, put it on the YDFP. ydfp on one as well we'll put it there too yeah we're gonna put it on all three but it's gonna be some kind of fun question i know the first couple were not super fun but they're gonna be fun from now on we got all the scary sad shit out the way now it's time. Now, for those of you who are unaware, we are both in our 20s. So we grew up in the big boom, the baby boomers of, we are the baby boomers of mobile games. And so today, this week's question was, what was the first mobile game that you were addicted to? Now, I got a couple good answers, a lot of varied answers. A lot of people yeah. got addicted to different games. I mean, I love the variety. Be, oh, yeah, it's great because. The thing about mobile games is they're such a quick and quick to pick up um, video games, but some of the games that are put on there are really fucking good. Like comparatively to like how they should be versus what pro like what they are, it's a it's a huge. I mean, there's a huge margin. I mean, we yeah. all know mobile games. So. Yeah, I was gonna say we don't, we don't have to introduce the concept of mobile games to our viewers, probably. No. And no, this I week, mean, this week, I got answers. Yeah! Now I'm gonna take. I'm gonna drink to that one here. Cheers to you guys. Dink. Let's go. Let's go. I got four. I got three, but technically four. But it was more than one. Good. So shouts, I have a couple. The, shouts to the boys. And I'm. I have my own answer too. This is. This is a relevant question to me as well. I have my. own Oh, answer. this is. This is. An, I have an answer as well. And I'm. Right. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell. There. So you tell me. Tell me uh, what y'all people said first. Well, I mean, you have your classic ones like Clash of Clans or Cock. Um, 
No, love me some not, cock. They don't like to play with cock. They like to play Clash uh, of Clans, uh, COC. Classic. Um, classic bit. You have, funny. You have like Flappy Bird. I mean, Flappy Bird's probably like one of the most well known because that game was so popular for like two months, and then it got taken down because of the allegations that somebody murdered their brother. Um, that was great to hear, by the way. That was like when that that was like freshman year of high school, if I'm correct. Uh, dude, I, it was seventh grade. No, that wasn't. Yes, it was. Dang, yeah. really? Remember that money game where you would like flip the the money? It would like it, you would throw the money and you would just rack yeah. up the money, dude. It was and like people, cookie clicker, except it was making it rain. Bro, and 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 not only that, but people who had iPhones because I didn't have an iPhone. I had a friend who had an iPhone. This man had an, a thing where he would consistently swipe up without him having to touch it and i was like what the fuck that's fucked up he's he's getting higher i would be in the middle of class seventh grade going fum, 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 <laughs> like underneath the fucking table you got um, this motion going on he's like what are you doing what are you doing there yeah. what are you doing down there I'm it's nothing it i'm just making it rain i'm just making it rain <laughs> i'm at a million dollars <laughs> that's funny as shit you're okay. just looking at your teacher. You're looking at like the girl across the thing and like, <laughs> and she's just staring at you. And it's like, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Um, we've got like Wordscape, 15. Temple Run, um, Madden Mobile, mm. Ninja Fishing, which I've never heard of, but you do you, Q. Um, uh, Shout out to Q, man. Nemo's mm. Reef, which I've never heard of. Um, doodle I. Jump. Doodle mm. Jump. And then I think somebody mistook mobile game for n64 game or playstation game because he put spyro the dragon maybe um which is if you don't know not a mobile game that's a playstation one video game so that may have uh, been the first video game they were addicted to but several several years off by like almost 10 years so um <laughs> but then i mean like yeah i, I and then angry birds and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah my people i had tiny wings you ever a tiny mm, wings? Yes. We had Light Bike 2. Never played that. Trivia Crack. We all played Trivia Crack. A little bit. I'm not the biggest trivia person, but. And then we had somebody cited Doodle Jump, Angry Birds, and Where's My Water? Ooh, Where's My Water? That Where's was a fun game. All those are pretty favorite. classic games. Those are like, I think like you can generalize classic and then like modern classic and then like new like yeah what was the first mobile game you got addicted to i gotta know bro let, let me tell you the reason why i'm wearing green is not because i found an uzma kappa hat and i'm part of the uzma kappa fraternity <laughs> uzma kappa. but yeah yeah I, dude, it took me half a second to remember what uzma kappa was from <laughs> yeah yes. uzma kappa uzma kappa uzma kappa um Very but nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Um, and then, other than uh, other than the fact that we have to haze and we have to we have to we force the freshmen to murder people. Um, but uh, not too no, far. Um, the reason why I'm wearing green is because it's one of the most well known video games. I think mobily of all time, and that's Plants vs Zombies. I think that's oh I think, yeah. I think that's peak. Mo I think that's probably one of the mo one of the best made mobile games that is in Clash Royale. I think Plants vs Zombies by far is the most nostalgic to me, and also probably one of the best made puzzle games I think ever. I don't I don't think anything can top Plants vs Zombies. Genuinely, I I think I've played through that game no less than six times. I had it on a f I had it on one of my old iPhones when I was a kid. I had it on a DS. I don't know why Dude, I needed it. Yes, on the DS. yes. <laughs> Dude, if you didn't play it on the DS at least once, bro, you're tripping. Nah, yeah, no, you're Those not. You're, you're not really like that. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> so, <laughs> pussy had me like. <laughs> I, my, so my, the first game that I remember, and I've gotten addicted to several mobile games over my life. My first one was Jetpack Joyride. Yeah. I loved me some Jetpack Joyride. Jetpack Joyride is... Uh, dude, I got into Jetpack Joyride for a little bit. Like, I mean, what's good about us is we're at the age where we grew up with classic. I mean, classic mobile games. Like, we played Angry Birds, Subway Surfers, Fun Run, like the original Fun Runs. Uh, dude, we had... What else did we have? I mean, okay, okay. We're on the subject of mobile games. What is the best Angry Birds game? Because there's a lot. 
There's Angry Birds 1. There's Angry Birds Seasons. There's Rio. There's Space. Bro. You can't top space. the original. You can't top the original. You just can't. You don't like, you like the original? Nah. It's either Seasons or, or Space. I, think I didn't space play that space much cool. Angry Birds. I was really? shitty at it. I wasn't that good at it. I wasn't either, but I just played it because it's angry and birds. I mean, that's funny as fuck to me. <laughs> I thought that's how they go. Those, those Dude, the king, is, the king is back. And then you mean to tell me that birds aren't cool? The, you fucking hyped up that king. The kingfisher? What, <laughs> the, what did no, you... the Guam kingfisher? Yeah. Bro, you hyped him up. Oh, my God. You got you to you put some respect on some angry birds, bro. That guy that's was gone bad. for so long, and now he's back. He wants to fucking fuck up some pigs. I gotta say, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this publicly. Your callback game is crazy. Your callback game is insane, bro. You're on bro. point with that shit. Noggin, I got a noggin elephant, for a reason. An elephant doesn't forget. Well, so that was okay. That was that was a that was a pretty short interactive segment. I had fun. I, I'll tell you what, that was a good segment. I enjoyed. No, that. yeah, of course, because the thing about it is like mobile games are fun. Like even though like there's a huge stigma against it, like mobile game players like. I personally would never consider myself a mobile gamer, but to each their own. I should get Plants vs. Zombies on my phone, just just for the culture. Do it. I mean, it honestly, to, I like, bought it on the computer because it's better on the computer. But what what I just, can't it really just, disrespect. It just it just feels right on the phone. I it does know. feel. It does. It, if it's it just, nostalgic, it just, then do that. Do it that. Just, it just yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's the reason that you you want to sample from vinyl and not just YouTube. There's just, there's just some. There's an unspoken. There's, there's a, a there's feel, indistinguishable. There's, yeah, something about it. It's that, it's that grittiness that you hear. All right, so um, Dylan, what do you, what do you have for us this week? What do we, what are, what are we thinking about? It's Halloween. It's the, it, it, yesterday was the first of October. Today's the second, and I'm excited. I feel like this is one of the best times of the year. I think by far, if you're into spooky shit, this is probably the best month of the fall months mm-hmm. like what do you consider the fall months september october november that's what i middle, consider the fall middle months. middle of because isn't winter technically toward the end of december i always consider it in terms of months i consider december january february as winter march april may as spring yeah. june july august as se- as summer and then September, October, November as fall. Yeah, I feel yeah. like, in my opinion, the cutoff date for fall is uh, November, like Thanksgiving. Then it becomes Christmas, and that's snow. That's winter time. Because it says here, winter 2022 in Northern Hemisphere will begin on Wednesday, December 21st. Fuck that. So it's like, yeah, literally. Fuck like that. It, <laughs> Uh, t- technically, it's it's late December because I know fall just started a week ago, but it's been yeah. You know I mean, it feels like September, like after Thanksgiving, it's it's you know Mariah Carey and you know Bing Crosby. I mean, and all that. look, sorry, I'm already Michael Buble. I've already started my Christmas decorating. Don't you see this guy back here? This isn't <laughs> Halloween based. This is Christmas. He's fucking Jack Frost. When it I mean, turns. <laughs> Listen, when it's the first day of Hanukkah, day, this yeah. guy's gonna get a fucking this guy's gonna get a whole yarmulke and shit like that. <laughs> he's not Jack Frost then. Uh, he's a Jew. And so he's <laughs> gonna he's gonna get the menorah lit and all that stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. He's gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun because I don't celebrate Hanukkah and I get to see this guy celebrated. Um but I'm already he's you're just happy. decorated. You're just happy he's happy? Of course, dude. He's oh, dead. So, I mean Yeah. So you're you're That's good. the best I can do. Yeah. Who was that? Uh, we don't need to ask. What is your favorite time of year? Is it's it- the uh, literally it is the fall. It's the fall. I think- I, if not for if not for the the memories I have of of a certain fall that one time, it would have like I love the, when the when the air gets a little bit brisk when it gets you know what I'm saying because I do like this the the spooky season spooky season has a very very special place in my household in particular I alluded to this in a previous episode and I think now is a very good time as you know this is the first episode that comes out in spooky season this is a good time to tell the story my father is an avid ghost hunter fucking really you're yeah. lying yep yes. that's fucking badass this is why we yeah. tailor to dads and not and not children because yeah. dads will go fucking ghost hunting wait 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 you gotta you gotta talk to me about this i'm gonna this oh, interesting I'm, i planned on it you and also you'll notice i have my i have my my spooky spooky season garb on i got this little dark flannel a little dark yeah you know what i'm saying sorry let me not get off track looking yeah, kind of spooky 
a little bit. You wouldn't you you wouldn't want to see me alone at night. No, I wouldn't <laughs> want to. I I hope you don't take those glasses off because I might medu you might medusa me. Ah, uh, you thought. Nah, the uh, so my dad he has like a man cave in the in the house, right? And he's got his own decoration. He was a big fan of Kiss. It was still very much is, but he's got all this ghost hunting memorabilia. He's got all these tools. It's fucking sick. It makes him happy. It's a really awesome thing. I've I've only ever been on one ghost hunt with him. I want to go on more, but it was you know as I was coming into college and I just haven't had the time. He worked at a place. He had a coworker. A coworker had a hair stylist dresser. At this point, my dad is two or three years into his whole bit with the ghost hunting thing. And he has a reputation with, throughout the office because it's not like, you know, I, my father wouldn't mind me saying that he's not one to keep things to himself when it comes to, you know, his interests and things of that nature. Not a bad thing. It's just not everyone does that, but he does that. So his coworkers know he's an avid ghost hunter. So he gets brought in to do a hunt of this woman's house. She swears her house is haunted. I'm like, okay. And my, it was just like Thursday night or something. I had school in the morning, but my dad, do you want to go? I was like, hell yeah, I want to go. I've never been on one before. He's been doing it for years. So we drive to the middle of nowhere. It's in like middle Virginia. It's a two and a half hour ride. And we, we go there. I had school that day. So we, we go down there at night and the road is this like gravel you, you turn and it's gravel for a fucking mile and it's just trees and i'm like i we're gonna we're gonna die tonight is how it is <laughs> that's how i felt i'm like okay we're going we're going down this road with the sole purpose of finding ghosts i you know I wrote now was it just you life. and him and that's it or was there like a group of people no it was it was just me and my dad we went to their house okay okay yeah, yeah. so you were about to get murdered okay oh definitely i was like oh okay you know i wrote a letter to the people i loved and we go, we go and we, you know, we're there and we meet everyone. So it's this woman and she has two daughters. Uh, there's one daughter who's kind of a non, she's an NPC in this particular scenario. There's another daughter who her bedroom is the main focus. Whoops. <laughs> her bedroom is. The, that was for you guys who are not that dads. That for you. <laughs> so her bedroom is like. We got like, oh, she, that, her bedroom's definitely haunted. So we're there for her bedroom. We're there for the basement. Those are the two points of interest. So we go to the basement first. Uh, by the way, I'm going to, before I finish this story, y'all are welcome to not believe a word of this. This happened. Believe it or fucking so don't. So you believe this. this. So you believe this. Yeah, I, I'm going to ask you a question after we're done. I have a question yeah, that I want to ask. And I'm, I'm typically not a big, a big believer in this. I did just, I've just seen too much. I've seen too much not to believe it. We go into the basement of the house. My dad gets his little tool where you can, I don't have all of the, the science behind it. Something, something, you turn a radio weird, the spirits can communicate through the static. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a whole thing. No, uh, yeah, I mean it, I, dude, I, I love this kind of, I'm not in, I would never do it. Maybe I would if your dad ever invited me. I personally would never, ever fucking go on my own. But I understand what you're talking about. It's like a little tuner thing, and they can like through the static, you can kind of hear like. Ugh. It's just, it's just like yeah, it's just like a what it oh what it does it like cycles through radio stations, so it's just static status. It's that's I don't know too much. I'm not gonna pretend I'm an expert. That's what my father is for. He knows more than me. But something, something. You take a radio, you press a several buttons, and you can kind of talk to ghosts, kind of. So we go down to the basement, and we you know, determine that there are multiple people there, right? Multiple entities, yeah. Multiple entities. And so one thing my dad always asks is, what happens when you die? Because that's a killer fucking question, right? He goes, what happens when you die? Three different voices. Sex, sex, sex. We go, sex? And they all just go, yeah. And just look at, I was like, Holy yeah. shit. And it wasn't really helpful that at that time I was suicidal and a virgin. <laughs> so, so <I> can, <laughs> there was other like important shit that we found out, but that's what I remember. It was so long ago. I was a junior in high school at that point. So that's that's the basement done. We've determined that once you die, you have a really good time. And so you we go upstairs. So the, the daughter has this boyfriend and he is long distance, like 
he's from Ohio or some shit. We're in, you know, Virginia. And he's there for whatever reason. I don't know why he's there. The belief is there is somebody in the daughter's room watching over her. And, you know, button, 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 push, 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 ask, ask, ask. It is the granddaughter's grandfather. It's the daughter's grandfather, the mother's dad, who's there watching over her. And so this boyfriend is like, oh, that would mean he's heard all of our phone calls, our FaceTime. Me being the prick I am, I'm like, ding, funny. We have this flashlight. There's a flashlight. There's another thing that you can do. The flashlight, when you, there's a flashlight that you can turn. When you turn it, it turns on. But if you get it, if you turn it to a certain point, the, the ghost can produce a charge. I don't know. Again, I don't know the exact terminology, but the idea is the ghost can turn the flashlight on and off as it pleases. So we get it to the point. And so it's the daughter, it's the mother, it's the boyfriend, it's me, it's my dad. The, the, the boyfriend's name is Tristan. Tristan's phone calls with the daughter, name I don't remember, doesn't matter, hasn't been like, they, he, the granddad has been listening in on them. And I just go, uh, hey granddad, if you hate Tristan, turn the flashlight on, boom. I look at this kid, he is pale in the fucking face. He is petrified. Why wouldn't you be when you... When okay, you... okay, okay. Can I ask, did you fuck with him and turn the light on? Did you fuck with him even Bro, more? no, 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 no. No? I was, okay. I was five feet away from the flashlight. Oh, I, shit. I, nobody touched it. No one had it in their hands. It was laid out on the bed by itself. Nobody oh, touched fuck. it. I asked, if you don't like this kid, turn the flashlight on. Instantly it turns on. This kid is fucking petrified and why wouldn't you be because he, imagine you 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 get a like a serious like you have very realistic reason to believe that you have beef with a fucking ghost that's, that's fucked, fucked up. up that's, that's this kid up. is petrified he's scared and i'm just looking at him and you you, you know me i'm just there like <laughs> just laughing at him like a dick i'm like oh buddy but it's then you don't realize like oh fuck like this yeah. guy's about to get possessed yeah, yeah, yeah there was there was a bunch of other shit with that how he was like being fucked with by the he felt as though he was being fucked with i don't know i wasn't really listening i was too busy laughing internally at what was going on and so we we run the we run the whole bit and i'm like tristan is there anything you would like to say i'm messing with this kid was there anything you'd like to say uh to her grandfather he goes uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm sorry da, 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 da. and i go okay granddad if you forgive tristan turn the light off light goes off and it was a wholesome moment they, they made up but dude there i don't know I, I i just I, I think about that so frequently just like dude imagine like like actually th like believing in your heart with evidence that you are in direct conflict with a, like a spirit like a ghost that's a fucked up thing to think well man. well like you gotta think about it there are like different kinds of ghosts like and i'm not gonna say if any of you guys out there play phasmophobia there are like different ghosts that you can find and it's kind of similar to what your dad does they you bring tools it's pretty realistic just depending on what you feel that's fucking dope though yeah. But anywho, like, there's different kinds of ghosts. And so, who knows if the granddad is really an evil person. He's just trying to protect his granddaughter, which... I don't think... I see... I, I have no reason to believe that this granddad was an evil guy. <laughs> it's the classic... It's, it's something that you would do if, if he was, like, alive. Just, like, oh, I've heard the conversations. Mer, mer, mer. What are you... What are your intentions with my granddaughter? Like, it, it was that yeah. kind of vibe. And I, you know... And either way, this kid lived in Ohio. Unless, unless granddad... Even though, you know, it's entirely possible. I, I don't I don't know ghost physics. I don't know how I don't know their mechanics. I don't know their Look. All we know is that there was a ghost, communicated what he needed to communicate, and that was it. And honestly, I respect the ghost for doing that. Because I mean, like, dude, I feel like it would be dope. And I'm not someone of horror. I do not really like I don't horrors doesn't sit well with me. But I like the concept of horror. I would totally want to talk to a ghost if I could. But that shit would scare the fuck out of me because that means that all the suspicions that we have as human beings is true. Because we don't – the thing about ghosts is it's – there's no physical proof that they exist. But there is experiences that people have that prove to other – that prove to individuals that ghosts exist. 
Yeah. So it, what I was going to ask so you genuinely like you have to what, you just have to you just have to see it. You just have to. What what I would want to ask you is do you believe in ghosts? Cuz I remember we talked about spirits, but there's a difference between ghosts and spirits. Cuz exactly spirits is, is just like the or, is like the feeling that somebody's there while ghost is like physically present in the room. Not only do you feel them, but you can communicate with them. You can't really communicate with the spirit, but you can really communicate with a ghost because they're there. They can move objects. They can do things. They can interact with our world. Do you yeah. believe in ghosts? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. After that, after that, or did you believe in them before? I wasn't sure before, but literally after running a bit with one, it's tough to deny, you know? Uh, yeah. Getting a rise out of this kid with, with this ghost, I was like, shit, I, that's that's... It seems real to me, but and I'm, I'm very skeptical about that kind of thing. I'm not religious in the slightest. I don't know what happens when we die, except you know, literally my my number one idea is sex. That's what I know. That's the only reliable hey, the, the only reliable source I've responses. ever talked to. Yeah, the only reliable source I've ever talked to has told me sex. So I'm like, okay, hey, hey there you go. <laughs> what do I have to be so afraid what, of? What I what I believe is I do believe in ghosts, but I've never experienced a ghost encounter, so I can't say for certain whether or not they exist or not. I do believe that there are ghosts in to an extent. I so I flip flop. I flip flop because there is no physical evidence to state that there are ghosts. Scientifically, we don't know. However, comma, semicolon, space. I personally believe that ghosts do exist. They just don't not all of them are evil intentionally. Oh yeah, no, they're not. And I don't have a story personally, but however, I have a friend who um this was during a time a bad time in his life. He was having fun with his girlfriend at a party and they were at an Airbnb in the middle of nowhere in Virginia. It's in this kind of almost plantation-esque house which you already know was going to be fucked up. That's already going to be that's evil spirit in town right there. Um, yep. but he's chilling and they're like, well, we need to skip town or not skip town, but like, we need to get out of the party. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. And so they decided to go outside. And this is mostly what I remember. There could be more. Um, but I know they were not sober, whether they were high drunk, doing something else is out of my remembrance, my memory. However, I do remember him specifically stating, and he's a, he is a religious person. When he stepped outside with his girlfriend, they were sitting out on the porch, and then they were out of nowhere. They heard a scream of bloody murder in the field. And it wasn't like a fox scream. It was like a blood-curdling like scream. And they saw somebody at the, at the end of the driveway of this long ass plantation drive. And they said that the dude didn't move, nothing happened, but it was the most, one of the weirdest and most like creepy things. And they decide, I don't know, I I, I might be fucking with us. Like I might, the, my, if my memory does not serve me correctly for this did specific, they... I do remember though, they had a ghost experience, whether this is exactly what happened or I'm taking creative what? liberties is, I, I cannot, I genuinely don't know. But from what I remember, they had an experience and it was on a plantation. And I remember the fact that it was it, – it, they did come to terms with the ghost and they, they kind of embraced the spiritual nature. Are you? I remember that it was evil at first, and, but when they kind of like confronted it, they became like in tune and they felt like safe and they felt comfortable, although the, the bad vibes were there. And I think they went out – after it and they just kind of like they felt like war i don't really know how to describe it i just remembered they were scared at first and then they said it was one of the scariest moments of their life but they came to terms and it actually became a pretty beautiful moment i don't know i genuinely don't know because i have never been in a situation like this but i remember that this happened it, it sounds to me like they witnessed a murder but it wasn't a murder it wasn't a murder they didn't see any bodies they didn't see anything they they only heard noise they only saw something and then that's it they didn't see the thing move they just saw the thing disappear it didn't come after them and nothing but they know they felt a presence there that wasn't human they felt like a like a spiritual presence a ghostly presence and then it was gone but it wasn't gone in a bad way i don't know i don't know 
That's but crazy. I want to say that's what happened. And so I want to believe that they're ghosts, really. Like, I, I, I do believe wholeheartedly that ghosts do exist. It's just that you really need to find those special moments. And it's like, you can't just go out like, oh, man, like, I'm going to go. I'm going to have one in my house. You don't know until, like, you feel it and then you see it or something happens. A um, place like a plantation is the kind of place that you would see them, though. No, especially yeah, especially the more evil and aggressive ones like I, and my dad also frequently uh, one particular one is trans allegheny lunatic asylum okay is that yeah, the one in dc it's in it's in west virginia okay. yeah he go it's and it's like it's like a a hot spot for like there's just a lot of places of that nature where you know kind of violent and disturbing deaths occur mm-hmm. you know plantations obviously there was a lot of violence and disturbing deaths back in the the slavery days and things of that nature. And then, you know, lunatic asylums are always just, you don't, you don't, you don't get normal deaths there really. Yeah. But yeah, no, I believe it. I believe it. I I would love to go on more. I genuinely do believe it though. I'm just, I, it's, I... it's, I don't watch the TV shows. I don't consume the content. My dad does. My dad loves those shows. This is, this is the original part of it. My like family is so into this this is the, this is our time of year this is our christmas really there you go my, my family absolutely loves my youngest sister who just turned seven love that kid shit right Lala, really Lala, she's seven now what the fuck dude i just i just found out that kids from 2006 are juniors in high school born in 2006 <sighs> that's crazy to me washed i'm washed kids I'm washed, who I'm washed, are it's fucking weird. Anywho, anywho, keep going, keep going. Yeah, but so she she's grown up around all of that. So now she has like the, the whole goth thing going, and she wears a lot of dark colors. My my fam, my family was talking to me about it, like, why are they doing that? I'm like, look, <laughs> look at look at our basement. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, know, it's, it's, I mean, but it's, she's she's not like depressed, not yet. She's only seven. She'll figure it out. No, but that's the just the vibe that you grow up. You do things with what you grow up with like that's how it works like you're gonna dress how people like how your family kind of like other than like your friends and the social cues outside but like you're gonna take a lot of inspiration from your own family you know but she also goes to a a school it's like a it's like a quaker school where everyone's in the way in the way that's like no but it's not but it's like it's like it's good it's a good place it's expensive as hell but it's like worth it where people are encouraged very much to be for example the principal of this school Everyone loves this guy, by the way. Best, like the best guy, is what they think of him. He wears dresses. That's like that's that's the kind of narrative they push. Like you, everyone has their own. I believe it's inner shine. Everyone, everyone should. Add, and it's not like in you know public school or private school where they say that and then you actually like no, but actually conform to you know the, the standards. Like this yeah. school actually believes that you dress how you want to you be who you are and it's a good thing like they actually enforce that so the fact that so the fact that you have you know my youngest sister and she's growing up in that environment with that thing it's probably better for her than if she was in you know especially the kind of school that i came up in uh first to fourth grade if she was she was pulling that bit there it wouldn't have gone well for her but uh Mm -hmm. i'm happy oh yeah anyway it's it's a good time of the year man i love the i love the fall weather I oh yeah! Absolutely adore going to. You ever go to those, those apple apple picking places and they got those apple they got those fresh apple I, cider donuts. Ugh. I oh. have not gone apple picking in Fuck. bricks, dude. I miss, dude. Uh, in my opinion, this time of year is probably the most nostalgic of all the like in in most of the time. Fall into winter time is my most beloved like most memorable times because everything happens during these times and then it kind of all just dies out after once spring hits because spring spring and summer are great don't get me wrong and i'm actually personally like spring in terms of weather more than all the other times a year because i like that warmer weather in my opinion i just like the warm drive with the windows down and stuff like that but my most memorable times are all in the winter time uh, all in the fall and winter because Fall, A, the leaves, the color scheme. The color scheme is probably, is more vibrant, in my opinion, than spring. And spring, it's like you've got spring, which is a lot of pinks, a lot of greens, a lot of a lot of that stuff. And then you've got the harsh blues of winter, and you've got like the yellow uh, of summer. But you've got the orange, the red, the yellow 
of of fall and that's and like your your neck of the kind woods of, is beautiful during the oh fall. dude it's great it's i like i really like genuinely think there's only two times of the year that my neighborhood looks really good that's middle of fucking summertime when all the trees are just nice green and it's just filled with leaves and then you've got the the fall when everything is orange and red and blue, like yellow and it gives me that kind of um that uh good like suburban i i'm a big suburbs kind of person i don't like I'm a the suburban city. dude i'm a suburban dude i don't really like the city and the outskirts of the world aka middle of nowhere it's okay but i'm a suburban person so i like picture this as this kind of like beautiful drive through the woods kind of sort of like the great falls and all this stuff to like get like go places and you just see all these nice leaves and it's not dead trees but like the, they're starting to die off and they've got this nice beautiful color and i like that i genuinely and it's the cozy feeling of maybe being by a campfire or or just like being outdoors because it's still nice out but at the same time it's starting to get colder so you get to wear fucking flannels that was the wife you get to wear too. flannels that and is. the wife beater um that's a shout out to my dad's um we wear white beaters but um i uh, uh but flannels uh jeans jeans are great as well like that feeling and just the vibes that people give off in the fall it's the beginning of the school year it's it's this is where you meet all your friends this is when you have a lot of the fun time like this is like this and and it also you've got three holidays in one go you've got halloween thanksgiving and and christmas but christmas is winter but you can also throw it in there as fall ish because that's when a lot of the stuff is like i know it's not but still it still kind of like got that fall vibe to it prior I mean, even though it's colder yeah but like ish. it's it's you've got all you're setting up for it in the fall and then finally once you get to it it's winter time so the setup to it is still fall in nature. Guess get what I mean? But you still get at least two major holidays, which one is about friends, the other one's about family. Like having a good time with friends is Halloween. And that's when you have all the fucking fun parties and all this shit and you just go fucking ham with having fucking all this fun shit and the spooky shit. Dude, spooky shit is awesome. And then you've got November, which November's cozy as fuck cozy as fuck and that's family that's eating food that's just like you fucking grubbing you fucking sleep for two days because you're hibernating after eating so much food like that's like Welcome to season. me fall is probably the most memorable for friends and family because that's where you spend a lot of the time you don't have those kinds of things in the summertime and the springtime because you don't really have celebrations like that in those times but yeah. you've got those two major holidays that america celebrates that are fun a and b like great to be around like people that you love and so that's why like i think fall is probably the most like one of the best like vibes has probably some of the best vibes that you can have and it's not easy. everywhere experiences it right yeah, yeah that's true that's true. Because you've you've got like southern, like southwestern America, which is just hot as fuck year round, and then you got Florida, which Florida, is the same kind of yeah. concept, and they don't have those. Like it's only really the northern northeastern hemisphere, and, and that really experiences a lot of this stuff. Maybe cat like Colorado, but we experience seasons all year round, especially Virginia, Maryland, all this stuff. We experience every season right in the middle. and we, yeah. yeah, we're right there. So in my opinion, we get like the best of everything, but fall definitely is the most beautiful time of year, the most memorable, all that shit. So this is one of the, the great disagreements I have with my family. I, I love Thanksgiving. My family doesn't disagree with that. I have never enjoyed Halloween. I don't like really. Halloween. I don't like Halloween. I never. Do you not I like Halloween it. as in going trick or treating, or you just don't like like what do you mean by? It? So as a kid, I didn't like trick or treating because I don't. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like dressing up. I just wanted to chill and I. I, I never. I've never liked dressing up. I and I've never been a party guy either. So I don't go to Halloween parties because I. I can't be fucking bothered, can I? But my my again, as you could imagine, my family. Halloween is my father has spent an absurd amount of money on very very high end Gene Simmons costume. 
Yeah. It was, it was at a point where he was actually going to try to learn how to blow fire. <laughs> I wish he did. That would be the coolest shit in the blow world. Blow fire? Yeah. Bree, yeah. Get, you know when yeah. people have like the stick and they, and then, oh, and they blow fire? That yeah. Was, uh, my dad was going to learn how to do that. He should. It's just so. alcohol. That's just sticking alcohol in your mouth and just going, I'd just probably. spitting it out and it goes, Phew. Yeah, I mean, that could be it. And it's not like it's a violent disagreement. It's not like we, you know, we talk about it and then I'm in You have a mutual understanding days. that they yeah. do their thing and you do your thing. They understand why I don't like it because they've, they've gotten to know me pretty well. They've, they've known me for a minute. So... It would, oh, I would hope so. Yeah, right, yeah. They get it. But yeah, I've, I've never, like, I've never cared much for Halloween. You know what? You know what? I, I had my most, my most exciting moment of the October month uh, today. I walked into Walmart and I saw that they were selling candy corn. I was like, let's fucking go. Let's you like candy go. corn? And that's what the people I was with said. They said, what? Candy nah, corn? Nah, okay. Okay, Candy okay. corn is I'm not, I'm nasty. not gonna. Okay. Look, look, look. Let's this is end for the debate you. This of is candy for you. corn. Let's end of the, the end debate. debate. What do you mean? There is a the debate. debate. There is a debate. You're really either like, I think there's three camps. Which there's always three camps. You either like it, you don't like it, or you you think it's okay. And I'm in the camp of the middle where I think it's okay in in handful spurts. You cannot eat a whole entire bag of cotton, no. of not cotton candy of candy corn and not feel like you're about to fucking puke literally correct. all over the place. That's correct. It's kind of nasty after a while. However, yeah. it's not awful. It's not to the point where it's like you can't eat it anymore. Like. I think there's some people who hate it. I know somebody who will eat Swedish fish, ca- like candy corn, like all that kind of, all the nasty shit and enjoys it. And I'm not saying it's nasty shit. I'm just saying like to most people, nobody really likes Swedish fish. Nobody people, not a Swedish lot of people really Swedish fish like. is sick too. What the fuck? What is this Look, disrespect? To each their own. To each their own. What not, is this I, disrespect? I know a lot of people I am who hearing hate. right now. No, I no, know a lot of people no, who no. hate it. I personally don't care. I've grown to like candy corn. Um, it's definitely not my favorite candy. Um, that would I don't even know what that would be. I'm not gonna lie. Probably Butterfinger. Maybe some Laffy Taffy. What are your feelings on Heath bars? Heath sounds like a dude who would wear a wife beater and shoot guns for fun on the weekdays. So you've never had uh, a Heath bar? No, I, I have had Heath bars. I just feel like they're the definition of like that one uncle that is not that cool. He's not the cool uncle that takes people to roller coasters. He's definitely the uncle that lives in West Virginia and and walks around with a gun strapped to his side, which... Hey, to all your dads out there who are named Heath and do exactly that, I respect you. But so long as you don't just, beat your wife or kill people, don't do that. Yeah, that's things. right. Um, I just I, Heath bar is just kind of like I feel like that's a healthy candy bar. It just sounds like a healthy candy bar. Hell, I don't know about healthy. It's just it's it's to, it's toffee and it's got chocolate around it. Every time my my Royal Farms bag of choice. Whenever I walk up to the Royal Farm, it's a convenience store. If you don't know what a Royal for those who don't know, it's uh-huh. a convenience store. I always go up there. I'll buy a tall thing of, of alcohol because I'm 21 now, and I'll buy two Heath bars. And that'll if I have nothing to do that night and I've finished all my work and I want to like watch like wrestling or something, I'll I'll yeah, that's right. I'll I'll watch wrestling and I'll grab some alcohol and some Heath bars. That sounds exactly like what you just described. To be completely honest, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just all I need is a kid and a wife beater, and I will match exactly. Your description and I'm not almost perfectly. And I- I'm not saying that he I'm literally wearing that. a West Virginia hat right now. You can't see it, but it says Canon it says Canon Valley West Virginia on my hat hey, as we speak. It, you look, literally cranked right there. I mean, 90. dude, I'm 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 telling you. Like Heath bars are to me the healthy, but like Heath just sounds like somebody who would do all that. And I'm just that I'm not into it. If I had to choose between a new, like you said, nougat, right? It's like a nougat with chocolate. Toffee. It. It's toffee. It's toffee. Because mm. I was about to say nougat is what's, what's in what, what has it, nougat? I it's forgot. not three. It's not three musketeers, is it? I think it is three musketeers. Three musketeers are okay. You're probably gonna fucking hate me for saying this. I like Don't Babe say Ruth. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I like no no not Babe Ruth. I'm I'm so Baby sorry. Ruth. No, I'm not talking about Baby Roots either. I'm talking about... Uh, what's that fucking one that's got coconut in an... Uh, Almond Joys. Almond Joys. Those are those are good. 
I think a lot of people hate them because of the coconut. I personally like them. I mean, they're okay. I feel like we're going to get lynched for our hot takes right now, even though you don't think they're hot takes. I think they're hot takes, and I feel like TikTok is not going to like us, so sorry. Um, But this isn't for you. This is for this you. This is for your dad. This is, <laughs> this is for you. Um, But uh, <laughs> dear our audience, fuck you, signed us. Yeah, fuck you, signed, signed, Almond Joy, us, Candy Corn, Heath Bars. Um, no, we got to talk about one candy bar, though, that I'm pretty sure is synonymous with YDFP as a whole, and that's a Toblerone. If you don't know what a Toblerone is... A Toblerone is like one of those little like triangle candy uh, chocolates, and this is a, a throwback. Yes, um, it is. Our first yes, ever episode, is. which was over three years or four years ago now? Four. Four. Damn, bro. That's messed up. Four years ago, our first episode started off, or at some point, I'm eating a Toblerone, <laughs> and I just remember me saying it wrong what did i how did, do you remember how i said it was it Tobelorn? Tobelorn. i Tobelorn. don't know i think i had to look up a youtube video on how to say it like, like <laughs> not text to, it's like a text to speech but it's not it's actually a human <laughs> saying it like um like i'll like try to like look up how to say like an italian pasta dish and i'll be like fettuccini and then i'll say fette uccini like it'll be like that it'll like it'll be like the Phon- it'll say it and then it'll say the phonetic way of saying it but we know yeah, it's Toblerone. Toblerone and shit. i i they are i dude i did not think much of them because they're like weird they look weird but they look like a set of shark teeth but when you really That's like cool deep, deep when yeah dude when you dig deep it's like a fu- they're like based on like swiss mountains and shit like that it's fucking dope yeah Toblerone's for the win i think that's the ydfp candy bar of choice I think it is. I think I think we gotta we gotta strike it. We gotta get famous so we can get a Toblerone deal. Not only are we gonna get flannels and hats and sunglasses with the name YDFP on them, we're also gonna get a Toblerone that it, on each one will just say YDFP and then it'll start again YDFP. <laughs> Bro, we're gonna dig. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Toblerone, <laughs> give us give us a deal. <laughs> All these dads out here are going to be eating so many Toblerones <laughs> for for Halloween. Bro, you're, gonna be, y'all are going to be we, selling out. We're going to be in your dad's mouths. This is for you. Fuck you guys, this not you Toblerone. You. This is for you Toblerone. Toblerone. This is for you guys who watch this shit and aren't dads. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is such a stupid yeah. bit. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. This is such a good bit. But um, I, I I mean, look, Halloween I mean, to me, <laughs> Halloween to me time. is fun. I'm not in the band camp that I love Halloween to death, and it's literally my god, my god given right to do whatever I want. But at the same time, I'm not like, eh, it's Halloween. I don't want to do anything. I actually enjoy. If you ever get a chance to watch my other channel, K's Corporation, which I recommend watching eventually we're gonna talk about it i have ideas um link in description i like dressing up it's actually one of my favorite things to do surprisingly because it it's kind of got that freedom of just expressing your it's an expression of yourself right you do it a lot of the time you don't think you dress up but the expression that you have of just your clothes your thrift shop clothing like that's an expression that's almost like wearing a costume but the difference between normal clothes and a costume is you get to like be somebody else but at the same time you're yourself while your clothes are you so like i don't don't know how to describe it other than like when i dress up it's fun i don't go cosplaying because i don't care about dressing up as characters that i'm not i like dressing up as characters that i am in my own videos like that's fun to me i dressed up i think one a couple years ago i dressed up as uh the butcher which i will one of these days maybe show who knows um i've got a lot of costumes we'll probably have an hall we'll have a halloween episode we and if we have a halloween episode you bet your fucking sweet ass that i'm gonna be wearing a costume and you better be wearing a costume as well 
I, I, I don't want I'm, you wearing some fucking some black flannel with a Vans jacket and a West Virginia hat and some sunglasses. Um, you better be wearing at least another shade of sunglasses, some like spooky pumpkin sunglasses that you find at Michael's. I think we've established for the past like 45 minutes that <laughs> we like Halloween. Well, we as an we you like Halloween. We I don't, we as I don't. a community like this time of year. Yes, uh, uh, you know, a takeaway that when it comes to the months of October to November, September, October, November, YDFP says you're all two thumbs up, two thumbs up. If for... you're a dad, if you're if you're anybody <laughs> if else, you're a dad. You two middle fingers, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> if you're a dad and you're and you experience the fall time. Good, and if you're not uh, a dad, uh, and and you're somebody's son or daughter, these are these are yours. You should have these. Okay, I found Dylan the articles. The jaw, the journalist, in, uh, the former journalist in me. I just can't help myself. I found another there you article. Go. I found it. These, yeah, these, are, these articles. These articles are short. Uh, and it's, okay. it's not these. I only have one, but. So let me let me tell you where we're gonna riff on this for just a minute here. Got it written down. The headline is Trail of Slime leads German customs to bag of giant snails. <laughs> what the Okay, okay. Are these like snails tell me, like escargot? Tell me what you snails? think no, tell me what you think happened. So what I think was now I could be wrong, and I most likely am not wrong. I feel like there was like a, a huge heist of escargot snails. And there was a French man by the name of Jean-Pierre Jean Laurent. And a German guy by the name of Ludwig Barnabas Rottenberg uh, definitely was like, I will steal all of the escargot and I will feed them to my fishies of Pierre destruction while I destroy them all! And then the French guy named, I forgot his name, Jean-Pierre Chalechel, um, definitely was like, no, you cannot take my, my escargot, for you see, I am a man of culinary expertise, and I want to cook these for the human beings, no fishies. And so, as Ludwig Barnabas <laughs> Rottenberg had stolen them and brought them to Germany, uh, the police had heard about this huge escargot-esque escape. I mean, bro. This is a big fucking thing. You can't tell. You can't be fucking shitting me right now, right? I'm pretty sure. By the way, there's a be real, so I'm gonna have to take this real quickly. But I'm gonna keep talking. You motherfucker. I believe. I believe. This is that, a good time uh, to advertise the podcast. Fuck you. Tell them. Tell them what you're doing. Anywho, um, so basically, no, I feel like escargot got stolen by Ludwig Barnabas Rottenberg. Say cheese, guys. Say cheese. Hold up. Here we this go. This is Where's for you. Video? This, this is, is for, for you. you. This, this is, is for, for you. you. The escargot got stolen by Ludwig Barnum's Rottenberg because he wanted to feed him to his fish. And then this guy named John Pierre, um, he goes after them. But the police are also involved because this is a massive heist. Because there is an escargot bank in, um, I'm pretty sure, um, what's the place next to Germany? Hungary? What's the one? Austria. Austria. The Austrians have an escargot bank, and the German guy had committed a whole other thing against Austria. <laughs> Fucked him over because he stole a huge heist of escargot, and John Pierre Hala had had put a tip in there saying, "Hey, this guy is stealing him for his fish. I need him." And so the police <laughs> had realized that the trail was leading to a bag of snails because they tried to escape. From Ludwig Barnabas Rottenberg after he said that he wasn't actually going to feed him to his fish. He was actually going to use them to... Do you know the snail experiment where if you run away from a snail for... Or you can always... You can live forever so long as you never get touched by this one snail that is chasing you consistently. Um, he was trying to recreate that experiment IRL. And so they were trying to escape from him because he was actually the snail and they were actually the human beings. And it's a whole psychological horror. Close. Let me tell you what happened. You just about had it. German customs officials say a trail of slime led them to a stash of almost a hundred giant African land snails and other items hidden inside bags at Dusseldorf Airport this month. 
In a statement Friday, authorities said officials stumbled over one of the snails on a baggage truck and initially thought it was a toy until it started moving. By following the trail left by the 20 centimeter, parentheses, 8 inch snail, they found a bag with a hole, with another snail already peeping out of it, possibly preparing a dash for freedom. In total, officials found six bags containing 93 giant snails, 28 kilograms, 62 pounds, of fish and smoked meat, and a suitcase full of rotting meat. All had been imported from Nigeria and were destined for an African goods store in Western Germany. The snails were handed to an animal rescue service in Dusseldorf and the meat was destroyed. Customs officials said, Never in the history of the Dusseldorf Customs Office has a trail of slime led us to smuggled goods, said its spokesman, Michael Walk. Probably pronounced Volk. So they... I was close! Yeah, someone's... I mean, there was, there was the smuggling of snails going on. So actually, you weren't terribly far off i mean there look, were a few details that were a little bit look, you know what i'm look, saying but I, as far as the the change austria idea, to, to nigeria and we're pretty much solid <laughs> good job so, you, know what, you know what dylan you know what you get five points fuck yeah and guess what fuck you for watching <laughs> anywho uh, if you're not a dad <laughs> so um <laughs> you get five points and you the audience get two middle fingers unless you're a dad Hey, Fuck and then you, you get two thumbs up and five stars. So, what did we learn today? Class, uh, adults, um, adults. I adults feel like only. We if you're a kid, if you're a kid and you're not a dad, don't fucking answer. Don't fucking answer. If you answer in the comments, all you're gonna see is bam, bam. Fuck you. We are um, going to we are going to chastise you in the comments if you speak to us, unless you're a dad. That's right. If you're not wearing a wife <laughs> beater in your profile picture, you're getting fucked anyways um not not like that i mean like metaphorically any no what the fuck ever cut that part out okay um no, it stays in it's fun damn okay um <laughs> unlucky what have we learned though did we we learn that you hate halloween we learned that ghosts are real yes yeah we also learned that fall is fun we learned that toblerone is the unofficial mascot of white fp and the official best chocolate out there officially yeah we you also found out that mobile games are fun and they're no, pretty nostalgic that. we knew that and that plants vs zombies is cool the best one which is also funny because that's kind of halloween themed um and then we also Azure found zombies. out that that snails like commodity people want them yeah yeah people i mean want fuck, snails. Dude. i want some snails i want some snails now I want there's some large African snails you should, slithering, there's... sliming down my throat. <laughs> what? Bro, what did you just... Now, nah, listen, there's a guy in Nigeria that could help you out with that. We'll, hey, we'll look, him. I might have to call him and just ask for him. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this is YDFP episode six now. Snake six. Snail six. Hey, I saw what you did snail, there. Snail six. Snail, snail. team six. Snail Team 6, Halloween edition. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, like, episode, comment, maybe. subscribe if you would like. You can, well, no, don't subscribe if you'd like. If you don't subscribe if you like, we're going to beat you up. Um, and not if you're a dad. If you're a dad, you can do whatever the nah, fuck subscribe. you want. No, listen, um, subscribe because you have to. Because we want we want a total room. That's deal. right. You um, have to subscribe. But you can, you can, like whether or not you like it is up to you. Yeah, whether or not we, I mean, it helps us out a lot. And if it you're does. on, we uh, would prefer take, it genuinely. Oh yeah, of course. Um, again, follow us on all of our social media links. That's Dylan dot Hoyos. I forget what yours is. BCB Gabriel, and on TikTok and Instagram, your dad's fave pod, not podcast. Your dad's fave pod. You said Spotify, right? Spotify. Watch us on US. Spotify if you like. Yes. We've got video on there. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes. Not a lot of people have video on 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 Spotify. I don't I don't um, know exactly how many it is, but we're one of them. That's for damn sure. That's right. We're pretty cool that. now. We're yeah. we've made it up in the upper echelon of people. We're here. Um, we're here. Yeah, that's where we we're are. Right, we're like right up here. One we someone down else. Here. Someone else might be here, but we're and you know and and if you're watching the video podcast on Spotify, you'll you'll know where here is. But if you're not. You're you're kind of you're off in space, so that's why we have the video podcast going. Yeah, and uh, uh, all I'm gonna say is, if you're a dad, thank you for watching. Yeah, uh, and, and if you're not if a dad, 
If you're not a dad, first of all, fuck you and uh, tell your dad we said hi. <laughs> and tell him to have a nice cup of Joe. <laughs> Say goodbye back there. <laughs> it's quiet here. Let me help. Let me get. Let him. Let me get him right here. Come on, buddy. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. I don't wanna. Say it! I don't wanna! Say it! Fine! Have a happy, have a happy early October! Yeah!